For 30 years, archaeologist Ivan Sprach has spent his life trying to uncover the secrets buried deep under Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. These lost cities are the remains of civilizations that lived before us, and while they might not have had modern-day technology, these cities were home to humans that were way ahead of their time. Join us as we talk about Ivan's fascinating new discovery that has caught the world's attention. Hailed as the real-life Indiana Jones by The Guardian, Sprach has spent over three decades navigating his way through the remote terrains of the Yucatan Peninsula all the way across Mexico. For Ivan, there was no such thing as giving up, and even though living in the wild was no easy task, the Slovenian archaeologist continued his search to find long-lost Maya cities. In 2013, Ivan and his team stumbled upon a breakthrough. During their expedition, they made a shocking discovery when they found a lost city swallowed by the forest that dated all the way back to the 8th century. This unknown city was capable of housing 40,000 people, but it wasn't the only career-making discovery Ivan had made. Exactly a year after that happened, Ivan and his team found two more Mayan cities named Lagunita and Tamchin. From pyramid temples to plazas to detailed carved stele, these cities had all sorts of infrastructure. But what shocked everyone the most was the fact that both cities looked like they had been abandoned about 1,200 years ago. No one really knows what wiped out either city, and while archaeologists are still trying to figure out that mystery, it seems like Spreich's latest discovery is making headlines all over the world. Back in 2023, Ivan and his team had located the remains of yet another ancient abandoned Mayan city that was full of lots and lots of pyramid-shaped structures that were as tall as 15 meters. The city is located deep within Mexico's Balamcu Ecological Conservation Zone and was named Ocomtun, which means Stone Column in Yucatec Mayan, after the team discovered many cylindrical columns that were scattered throughout the settlement. The cylindrical columns are believed to be entrances to the upper rooms. Upon taking a closer look at some of the structures found on site, like pottery, it seems that the lost city was once full of life somewhere between 600 and 800 CE. This period is also known as the Late Classical Period, when the second wave of civilizations was dispersed throughout the world. According to Sprach, since most of these cities were lost in time, no one really knew where they were or how to find them. To him, Okomtun was the last big mystery in the central Mayan lowlands, which covered the central Yucatan Peninsula. And finding this historical site was like locating a black hole on the archaeological map. Because while the Mayans have been heavily recorded in historical texts, there weren't any known sites near Okomtun, which means that this city was either home to a secluded Mayan community or was perhaps something entirely different. Needless to say, by mapping this previously uncharted black hole, archaeologists can not only find out more about the Mayans, but also figure out what led to their disastrous collapse. Because the thing is, the more we get to know about the Mayans, the more mysteries pop up. The Mayans are often seen as one of the greatest civilizations in the Western Hemisphere, having dominated Central America from 200 to 900 CE. They are famous for their tall pyramid temples and over 40 large cities made of stone, like Tikal, Waxactun, and Copan. Besides their impressive architecture, the Mayans were skilled astronomers, excellent mathematicians, and prolific writers. In fact, they were really smart about astronomy. They kept careful records of things like eclipses and solstices and even built their cities important buildings to match the movements of the stars and planets. The Mayans were also way ahead of the Europeans. Did you know they came up with the idea of zero about 1,000 years before them? And not just that. In the first century BCE, they created a super-accurate calendar that beat the one used in the UK, Europe, and Asia for a really long time. As we just talked about, the Mayans also excelled at writing and started around 300 BCE, making tons of paper books. Most historians also believe that the Mayans were probably the ones who first made chocolate, played the world's first ball game, and also discovered rubber. This is exactly why this civilization has always fascinated everyone, even Ivan Spreich. He says that since most of these cities were discovered deep in the forest, it adds to the mystery of their existence. Because it makes you think. 
How could an entire civilization grow and thrive in a tropical environment? How did they know to build their infrastructures pertaining to their surroundings and climate? And how on earth were they able to plan out elaborate cities with virtually no coordinates or geographical records? Even though many scholars have studied the Mayans for over a hundred years, there's still an important question that remains. What happened to their impressive cities? Somewhere in the 8th and 9th centuries, the Mayans began leaving their cities, and in no time, these advanced Mesoamerican metropolises, which were built with science and engineering, strangely started to fall apart. Scholars and archaeologists alike, including Spryke, have wondered if this was because of wars, long periods of drought, exhausted soil, a changing climate, or a mix of these factors. However, by around 1000 CE, Sprach clarified that nearly every settlement in the central and southern Yucatan Peninsula, including Ocomtun, was deserted. And this is exactly why Ocomtun's discovery matters. Finding a new lost Maya city is important because it provides valuable hints about how the Mayans lived and what led to the sudden decline of their civilization about 1,200 years ago. This is especially important in less explored regions like the central Yucatan Peninsula, where Ocomtun is. The Balamku Ecological Conservation Zone is a dense and diverse jungle with lots of plants and animals. Even though it's home to 86 mammal species, there are hardly any roads. To explore this challenging terrain, Sprach and his team used LIDAR, a special technology that uses lasers from an airplane to map the area. When the LIDAR images revealed human-made changes, they made their way through 60 kilometers of thick vegetation to reach the site. According to Sprach, he and his team thought there was something significant in that area, but they weren't sure what they would discover. And when they arrived, their suspicions were proven right. The architecture they found was really huge, and it was clear that this place must have been an important political center at some point in history. The city was constructed on elevated land and surrounded by wetlands. It had a large central area covering over 50 hectares, with pyramids, stone columns, altars, three plazas with deteriorating buildings, and a court for the ancient Mayan ball game, where they played a pre-Hispanic ball game. This game was popular across the Mayan region and involved passing a rubber ball that represented the sun across a court without using hands, aiming to get it through a small stone hoop. Many people believed that the game had a lot of religious importance, too. At the city's northwestern corner, there's a massive 80M Acropolis with a 25-meter-high pyramid on top, and just a couple of blocks later, there are two more pyramids, each standing 15 meters tall. Because of this discovery, many archaeologists are excited for what the future holds. According to Dr. M. Catherine Brown, a professor of anthropology at the University of Texas in San Antonio and an expert on the Mayan civilization, she thinks that finding the Ocomtun could solve many puzzles for historians. Professor Brown thinks that even with over 150 years of studying the Mayan, LIDAR has proven its ability to uncover large sites like this and provide important details about their layout and city planning. She's also confident that Ivan's research will help answer many questions about the ancient Mayans' growth, decline, and everyday life. You see, the thing is, Okomtun's significance goes beyond its size. It could help us understand why and when Mayan communities moved from the coast to the interior, and why they eventually abandoned these settlements, including Okomtun. Sprach pointed out that, although the city started declining around 800 CE, the people there continued to modify and adjust the buildings based on their changing needs. This means that these people were aware of the impact of ideological and population changes during times of crisis. Because ultimately, by the 10th century, these factors were perhaps the reason that led to the collapse of the complex Mayan socio-political organization, causing a significant drop in population. One thing is for sure. Once Ivan and his team return to Ground Zero during the dry season, they will continue searching for more clues about the forgotten civilization that didn't entirely vanish. Ivan says that many people might think that we're losing some of the romance of archaeological discovery, but that's not what's happening here. To him and his team, these discoveries are still romantic, considering the heat, hacking through the jungle with machetes, dealing with water issues, and then suddenly coming across a big pyramid or a carved stele right in front of you. 
That's when all the challenges just fade away. Mexico's history is rich and full of intriguing stories, much like the country itself. Pre-Hispanic civilizations built some of the world's largest archaeological landmarks, such as giant pyramids and Mayan temples. The architecture of the Spanish colonial era is known for its well-planned cities, tree-shaded plazas, and intricately carved houses and churches. In fact, many significant pre-Columbian archaeological sites on the Yucatan Peninsula are UNESCO World Heritage Sites. While most historic cities are within an hour's drive of modern urban areas, some are hidden deep in dense jungles. But the question is, are there more cities buried deep in these forests? And can we ever find out all of them? Let us know in the comments and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this.